Hi, this is Tim McGarvey. This video is a Google Places and local marketing review for an insurance agent. In this video, I'm going to review the insurance agency's website and local marketing presence to help the insurance agent and insurance company start getting more new customers. Hey Jim, this is Tim McGarvey. I have some really good information that I want to share with you about your local and online marketing. This video has three parts. The first part is where you are right now. The second part is what you can do right now to get more customers. And then the third part is how you can blow away your local competition online. So let's get started. The first thing that I did was I went to your website and I wanted to see what your title description and your keywords are. So then I used this style and figure out what the top keywords are that people use most frequently when they're searching for insurance. So this information for the last 30 days, the number one search phrase is health insurance, number two is auto insurance, three is life insurance, four is car insurance, five is company insurance. When we look down here at the bottom, you can see that uh, periodically uh, health insurance peaks, but for the most part, health insurance and auto insurance are pretty close, number one and two. The last couple of weeks, I guess probably maybe the, the start of school, there's renewed uh, interest in insurance, all right? So we can see that uh, here that you've, you've got the, the spike here the last couple of weeks. So the next thing that I did was I took this information of our top keywords and I did a check to see what your Google Places results are, how your profile is ranking for these search terms. And what we see here is that for the search phrase health insurance number 16, auto insurance is 43, you're not showing up for life insurance, car insurance is 33, company insurance, business insurance, insurance company, you, you don't have a, you're not showing up, at least not in the top 60 or 70. Insurance company, there's a lot of competition obviously for this phrase. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't try for that, but it does mean that it's probably more of a long-term uh, uh, phrase. It's interesting here, insurance agent, you're at number 52, so we could probably work on getting insurance agent for you, getting you listed there within a couple of months. Also here, you know what, I added this uh, search phrase here, although it's not a number one search term, health insurance agent, I wanted to see where you rank, and you come in at number 12, so in terms of getting up onto the front for the number one keyword, this might be uh, something that we want to try is uh, prime keyword searches and I wanted to see where you rank in terms of the organic searches that's different than the local searches and what we see is that for auto insurance you come in at number 201 for life insurance you're what this tells us is that there's not a lot of information out there right now that the search engines have indexed that's being attributed to you as an insurance agent or as an insurance agency um, brokering and selling these different types of insurance. So you've got lots of room for improvement here. All right, every month we send our, our local marketing clients a report. And I wanna go over uh, this report for your company. Um, this report is a snapshot view and we can very quickly see how you're doing uh, online, where you're at, where you're at right now, and where you need improvement. And over the course of looking at this every month in just five minutes, you can quickly see where we've made improvements and where we need to do more work. So right now, you're scoring a, a 40 out of 100, so that's not terrible. We look a little closer and we see here your presence on the search engine and that we need to do some work on uh, Manta, uh, on, Yelta, on, on Yelp, on Best of the Web, on Hot Frog, on Twitter. Okay, and this is the appearance of your business in the search engines, and we see here some of the, we're missing some of the the same uh, sites, and these are some of the big sites that you want to make sure that you, that you get listed on. Hot Frog is really big, so is Yelp, uh, Manta, City Search. All right, this is your presence on the local search sites, and we see that uh, for your regional directories, those are probably directories around in the Phoenix area that. We don't have any in the directories where you have uh, social networking. Uh, you have some presence. We really want to see you get up here in the around the 70 to 80 percent zone. On the different types of the directory sites where you are listed, we see that you're, for your basic listings, you're about 60 uh, percent. 
on those listings where there's a, a, a room for additional contact, we need to add additional contacts. We need to add uh, business profiles and ratings and reviews. So these three boxes here tell us that there's room to improve even on the sites where you do have listings right now. This is a, a, a review here, a listing of where you're showing up uh, right now on the uh, regional uh, directories, specifically the Yellow Pages uh, directories. Yellowpages.com is big, and some of these are like uh, smaller affiliates that, and they all derive information from Yellowpages.com. That's YP.com. And when we look at YP.com, we see right here this is something that's very important that you definitely want to take care of, and that. They're saying here that there's an error with your phone, and so we see that through a bunch of these here. You do have some listings on like uh, local, uh, local.com and ypeak.com, but yellowpages.com is telling you there's a problem with your phone. So this has to do with the syncing of the information with your address, the name of the company, and your phone number. So something in terms of when you uh, created um, the the registration for your phone, you've changed the name since then, or something is out of sync. So we need to figure out what that is and get that resolved. Uh, here's your presence on the regional directories, which we touched on before. So lots of room for improvement there. This is a review of your uh, social networking presence. Right now you have a business profile on Facebook as far as Yelp, Manta, Twitter, Foursquare, Insider Pages, Mojo. These are wide open right now. This is a partial listing here for us to look at of the local uh, sites. So about 30 of these sites I think we're looking at here and shows us that uh, confirms there is a problem with your, uh, with your phone and for the most part you do have listings on local.com, uh, local search, a few of these, but overall there's uh, a lot of room for improvement here too. This is a listing here of your ratings, and you have ratings right now. You have three ratings on Merchant Circle, which is not bad, and you have one on Local Search. Listen, this is a very specific area that is increasingly important online, and we could definitely help you set up a, you know, a Jumpstart program and an ongoing uh, ratings and review campaign with your uh, current and your previous clients. So that's something that's super important. And then this here, this is a review, a summary of the ratings that are online for you right now. So you can see that currently uh, you don't have any. Every month uh, when you get this report, right here on the front page, there's five things here. And these are the five most important things that need to be done for your business uh, this month. So we, as I said, we run this report every month. And these are the five things that we would do for you uh, every month. Right now this would be... For month number one, it would be um, set up your Bing business profile, uh, add your listing to Manta, add your listing to Insider Pages, uh, figure out the problem with something, there's a problem with Yelp, and also a problem with Google Places. So what can you do right now to improve your presence online so you can start getting more new customers? Here's some very specific things that you can do that will make a big difference in your local marketing. The first things that you need to do is one is rewrite the title for your website and for your local marketing uh, listings, for your local directory listings. Your title should be one line, no more than about 150 to 160 characters, and it should include your company name, your prime keyword, and your location. We will also then want to work on your description, and your description should be two sentences that describe your business, the services, and the products that you offer. Now, this should be no more than about 200 characters long, and it should include um, two or three of your prime keywords. It needs to read and make sense, all right? So you should be able to read it very easily. It, this is not just a long statement of your keywords, all right? You want to describe for the reader uh, what your business is the, and what the services are that you provide and the products that you sell. We also want to redefine your keywords, all right? And we want these keywords to be the volume-based keywords 
where the most number of people are going to find you and where you're going to show up in the listings. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can uh, strategize this by combining the more difficult keywords with possibly some localized keywords that are going to get you traffic and some new customers faster. All right, so then we want to take the new description and we want to bring it over here to your Google Places profile. We want to add your description in the box here. And then underneath where your categories are, you can put up to five categories in here. So you want to add five categories and you want these categories to be listed from the most important the search terms that have the most amount of volume up here at the top and then the ones at the bottom would be the, the search phrases that are less important to you and have less traffic all right so here's something else that you can that you can work on that would make a big difference I checked uh, your the listing for your company that exists right now with uh, Google Yelp hot frog and Yahoo you know, th there are others that we could check. I just grabbed these four because um, these are four of the biggest. We could also look at Bing. But here's something that I noticed when I looked at the listings that are out there right now for your company. A lot of them are different. And at first, I know that it doesn't seem like they're different, but in many ways they are. All four of these uh, listings here, and these are four of the biggest ones, have discrepancies as far as the address for your company and by discrepancy it it means that it's not exactly the same okay you want the the you the address for your company um, and you want the name of your company to be exactly the same in all of the uh, local directories okay that is where the power of creating all these listings comes from all right that we have synchronize the name of your business, the address of your business, the phone number, your title, your description, your keywords, and this is the information then that we are we are putting on all of these local sites, all right? So that when they're indexed and when the sites like Google and Yahoo and Bing go and gather this information that it's all exactly the same, okay? As it is right now, the name of your company is different, Farmers Insurance, I mean, you can look at these and you can say, they're subtly different, but they are all different. So you need to sync these up. So if you sync these up, uh, your results uh, will improve. Here's something that I saw here on your Google Places that I want to mention, and that's that you can have a maximum of, of 10 photos here. Definitely, definitely, definitely put in a 10th photo here. And also, the photos that you have here, you want to title these, and these should be relevant to your the five categories that you select okay so you have a photo here and this is a photo of a health insurance agent or this is an insurance agent okay and then you have uh, antique cars or this is a photo here for uh, auto insurance all right so the title of these Google does index the photo and the title and if you uh, title these according to your categories that'll help you um, uh, even more with your profile. Now, here's something that I also want to mention in terms of your in, your insurance listing here through your farmer's website. And also here, we want that this, especially because this is linked to your Google Places, we want this title here, your name, okay, to be exactly the same, which right now it isn't. And also underneath here, there's the name of a business and the name of that business is different than the other ones that we just looked at. So we want to sync all this up. And also on the front page here, I think you want to have um, what I would call maybe like keyword rich copy wherever you can. And in this box right here where you have the free espresso hour, I think I might suggest that in, instead of that, that you have copy here and a photo that relates to your number one keyword. Again, this is, right now, this is directly connected to your Google Places profile. And so Google um, regularly index this and it checks this to see if you've changed and, and the changes that you've made. So listen, so having a copy here on the front page related to your keywords, I think it's pretty important. So we want to do the same thing um, down here. So you could pick your four top uh, keyword phrases and you could have content and photos 
and information here that relates to your prime keywords, all right? Not sure about the photos and the videos over here, but listen, I think this would be really smart and I know that it would help your, uh, your uh, ranking with Google Places, all right? Something else that I also looked at, and this goes to your website. Oh, I want to mention this. This relates to your, your page here, your farmer's agent page, and that is that the copy that you're using uh, right now on your website, I ran it through a plagiarism check, and you have a ton of duplicated copy. That means copy that is not original to your website, and that is now that's a really big deal with Google. So all of the copy that you put on your website, all right, you want to make sure that you haven't taken a copy from farmers that they have given to you, that they've made available to you. You want to write your own copy, all right? And when you write your own copy, of course, you want to make sure that you're using your, your keyword phrases in a, a natural manner, but you want to make sure that they get included. So the copy that you're going to uh, add here on your farmer's agent page, all right, uh, of course, as we we're saying, include your keywords, but make sure that um, this is a copy that you've written. And if you have space in here where you could put in, you know, another 100 words, another 150, put in as much copy here as you can that describes and talks about your services and your products, okay? So are you ready to blow away your competition online? We can do all of that and more. You know, local search is not just about Google. To show up in local searches, you have to be present in more than 50 key online places. So let me ask you this. Are you ready to show up multiple times in your local search results? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up your Google Places profile. This one strategy alone can bring in a huge amount of targeted traffic. If prominently placed, your customers can find you at the top of the search engines. This campaign is the cornerstone of local internet marketing and it allows prospective buyers the ability to get relevant information such as your address, your phone number, and driving directions. We're also going to get your business listed on over 30 local and mobile directories within just a few weeks. Getting listed in these directories will improve your website search results and your Google Places rankings. We're also going to get your business listed on over 300 national directories within just a few weeks. All of these directory listings will improve your search results online and help your customers find you quickly and easily. We're also going to gather and organize data about your business that helps us make these, these submissions and provide the most complete and comprehensive information about your business online. We're also going to identify the weakest listings and prioritize them by how much traffic they could generate for your business. These submissions and corrections with the most potential impact will be the ones that we do first. We're going to do five submissions and corrections each month. In the course of a 12-month subscription, we could correct 60 of the most negative issues with your profiles. We're also going to provide automatic notifications and alerts about new reviews and ratings every time that they happen. We're also going to syndicate the positive reviews that appear by posting these to your Twitter feed and your Facebook page on an ongoing basis. We're going to rerun your diagnostic report every month and then send it to you to demonstrate the improvements that we're making in your overall score and your online presence. And listen, the service that we provide for you is not automated. The editors are located right here in the United States, and they'll be working on your listings in these directories every month while your subscription is active. All right, I bet it's sounding pretty good so far, right? Well, listen, there's more. To make sure that we turbocharge your local marketing campaign, we're going to rebuild your web presence from the bottom up. Seriously, it's time to upgrade your website. If you want to hire a web designer, of course, we'd love to help you with that too. But for now, let's just keep it simple, clean, and professional. Once your new WordPress site is up, we're going to connect your new site with your social media channels. You say you don't have these set up yet? Well, listen, no problem there either. To really get you going, we're going to connect you with all your contacts online. 
And once we have everyone connected, we're not going to stop there either. We're going to keep going and building and growing your target audience every month. So, of course, your new followers will want to hear all about what you have to say. So we're going to help you stay connected by creating new articles, blog posts, and videos every month. We're going to create real content too, the kinds of things that your target audience actually wants to read, the content that your target audience is interested in. This is real content that we're going to create for you, which will be focused on the topics that matter most to your business as well as your customers. For example, the articles that we write for you every month are actually intended to be read. They're not junky, senseless articles and blog posts written only for search engine rankings. We're going to keep your target audience engaged, coming back, ready to work with you. And just so you know, I will only work with one business in your industry that's in your local area. All right, so what's left? The rest is really up to you. All you have to do is decide. We're ready to start today. Give me a call. My phone number is 646-435-0119. I'd love to hear from you and to get started working with you right away. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you found this information useful and you'd like to receive 20 free videos of the top questions that people ask about marketing with social media, just go to the web address that you see right here on the screen. free social media videoscom